All right, so if you, a few of you have asked me how to make ringtones without jailbreaking your phone or using some sort of crack or extra software or even going through iTunes and paying $1.99 for each ringtone. Uh, Apple actually allows you to do it for free using GarageBand. Quickest way to do this is you're going to go to GarageBand, go to New Project. You're going to see over here on the side where it says iPhone Ringtone. We're going to go ahead and choose that and you're going to choose the voice. Double click on that. You can type in a name file if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to leave everything default. Don't even worry about this stuff right here. Let's go ahead and click Create. All right, it's very simple. You're going to see male basic voice and female basic voice. Select one and hit Command and Delete to delete both of these, get them out of the way. Next, you're going to want to open up iTunes. We have iTunes open. And you see here a few of my playlists. I'm actually opening one from my favorite artist, Throw the Player. Uh, let's go ahead and choose, oh goodness, um, Show Me My Opponent. Now, if you double click on the song, you'll hear the song. All right, very basic. So let's move it to the side. We're going to drag that song right over here. That's going to say importing file and converting. All right, now you're gonna see the song, it's loading up, the waveforms are ready. You double click on it, you're gonna see a little bit of a better zoom up. So if I go here, I wanna delete that part right there and scooch this back just a little bit. So I'm gonna play the song a little bit. All right, and Maybe I want to stop it right there, okay? So you can kind of see where I'd like to stop it. If I move the bottom arrow, it moves the top arrow too. Well, I can go and select this and delete all of it, or I can grab this yellow line. This yellow line is where the ringtone is going to stop. So if you make a short ringtone, be sure to decrease the line. If you're making a long ringtone, of course, you'll want to um, increase the line. Everything else you can pretty much leave there by, your, uh, by itself if you'd like. Let's go ahead and then go to share. You're going to send this ringtone over to iTunes. It's going to mix it down. It's going to normalize it and it's going to do the best. Well, you see right there. It'll do the best to convert it to the iPhone. Now, when you hear it on your speakers, it's going to sound horrible. It's going to sound like a pair of JBL speakers. No bass and no high. So don't worry about it. It has been optimized for your phone. You can single click on your song there and name it what you'd like. Show me my opponent. And you'll notice that it stopped right where I told it to. And then it'll start right back again on the song. Then of course you're going to sync your iPhone, your, uh, or hit your iPhone, you're going to sync it and you're good to go. Now remember, make sure that your ringtones tab has uh, sync ringtones and all or select the ringtones that you like. But that's it. Now here's a cool thing that Apple didn't tell you. I, I, they, it's in there. They don't tell you about it though, but it's pretty much unlimited. Make as many ringtones as you want. You can use your voice. You can drag and drop songs. However, here's the catch. You cannot use protected songs. You have to use DRM free songs. So if you import your CD or if you buy it from a DRM free source, any source you can use them. You cannot edit DRM protected files. So lose that DRM protection legally. And that, enjoy your free ringtones.